y'all out there, this is the Game Buster. I'm back, baby. And this is the Iron Weasel. Playing with him, and we are going to do a Let's Play of... Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. The original game. Both one of the first... Some of the original games that we ever played on the PlayStation 2. Really? I thought from that flag it was Belgium! Make a pretty cool movie. Oh yeah. I guess the animation budget would have to be pretty high though. And there's our hero, Sly Cooper himself. The police. All right. Sounds like a rage comic. So, of course, we're gonna start a new game. Sly! Come in! Sly! Do you read me? I read you loud and very loud. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Trying to break into police headquarters does that. Get over it, Bentley. You're safe in the van. I'm the thief here. I've got to steal that file from Inspector Carmelita Fox. Exposition, exposition. Got their security system totally scoped. Also, a cool thing if you use your left and right analog stick, you can make them move. All right, I'm going in. Uh, I hate Murray in this game. I don't mind him that much. He's not in it too much. It's his voice. It's so shrill. The right. second one, they made it more guttural. So, just some basic controls. Right analog stick is um, camera. Left is obviously move. Jump. You can double jump, too. Hit. Um, circle is used for other things, and I don't think you've ever used the, the, uh, yes, thank you, Bentley. You never really use the, uh, oh, you use the left bumper to use your binoculars, but you don't really use any other of the bumpers. Uh, you can use either of the bumpers to use uh, your binoculars, but you don't use the triggers. Also, you never use the triangle button. And of course, these are coins, which of course in any PlayStation 2 game are used. Once you get a hundred of them, you get an extra life. And hey, Bentley, I think I'm seeing things. Must be vertigo or something. Or the LSD. Crazy blue lights. Really? I'm really yeah, I'm imagining that I'm some sort of talking raccoon. Oh wait. I do love Bentley's techno bad one. This it's really funny. Yeah. yeah. I love how they just, they're telling each other to hold down the circle button. It's like, what, do they have buttons on their body? Do they just, like, hit, hold a, down their finger on their knee whenever they need to do something? Of course, this is the, one of the most basic moves, which is, um, you know, is edge walk. Simply, you know, lets you walk along the edge. Oh, favorite thing to do, killing rats. It's hard, though. I also love the credits here, it's kind of funny. And it's just, like, blank as themselves. Oh, he, I, can I mention something? This weird fan thing is also in Sly 2 in the beginning. I think it was, like, sort of a tribute. Like, people remembered this random craft. Like, what the hell is this here for? It's like the box smashing room in Half-Life. It has no point, it's just here to look good. Or this. It's like a giant drum, it doesn't look like a piston. Hey, ew. I'm pretty sure rats don't have green blood, but ugh. Here they were eating some bad guacamole. Also, a cool thing to look for is the coins in the different levels, they all look different. And of course, the in the prologue here, they're all um, police badges, but they change throughout the game. Same with slide 2 and 3. Alright, I'm just trying to collect all the coins, because I'm just anal that way. And I don't really understand the point of this here, except for to introduce the fact that apparently in this world universe, mattresses are super springy. Mattresses are the key to perpetual motion. Of course, Sly here has his own, uh, is a master thief, has his own getup of blue, and I'll admit, I once dressed up like this for Halloween. It's probably my best costume. I even had a cane. <laughs> awesome. And yes, television aerials can totally support his weight. Smash! Laser! 
Caution. Laser. Caution. Laser. What could it mean? One cool thing about the game is that the lasers here, first of all, can be deactivated really easily by just smashing the alarm system. And also, if you get detected, yes, we're in the Thank you, the red door. Um, you can actually see some cool things. Le, le wanted. Le wanted. But these are, um, some of the, the villains from late, from later, though I don't know, these are just random, but this is one of the villains later in the game. You can do the same thing uh, in the museum in Sly 2. You can see a lot of the villains in the first one are part of the paintings. And also a lot of the artwork from the uh, first game is there too. Also, th like I was saying, the cool thing about the lasers in this game is they're not instant kill. They... Hate prologues. To wipe your ass, place your head beneath your buttocks, then move it forward. Or backward. Anyways, like I was saying, the lasers are an instant kill. When you trigger them, uh, hit them, it triggers the alarm system, which alerts enemies nearby, and then it turns into a laser that hurts you. This By turning red. Yeah, and glowy, and... Wait, wait, look at that symbol on her door. Listen. What is... What, does Satan work here? It's supposed to be a fox. Oh, that's supposed to be a fox? Oh, now I see it. Then why is it in front of a Star Trek logo? I have no idea. Maybe she's fucking Captain Carmelita. Sounds like a really fun candy bar. Mm hmm. Yeah. Or a porno. Oh, look at his eyes. He looks stoned. Yeah. So you not, not make fun of this game too much. I can't help it. It's my job. I'm here to riff. We can riff without making fun of the character design. Anyways, smash everything in here because, you know, fuck her. She's a cop. And also, you can get coins. Way to go, Sly! This is where Inspector Carmelita Fox stashes all her important files. In a giant I vault? Really? How do you think she got it in here? That thing looks like it weighs a ton! And, wait, they have computers, but they don't store their files on them? Yeah. Why? A simple alphanumeric password would be far harder to crack than a safe. Nice job! You got it! If you come down through the fire escape and head through the parking lot, we'll be waiting in the getaway van. The van! Also, slice signature move. Whenever he, whenever he breaks a safe, he leaves his calling card. His calling card there. And now, allow me to personally introduce the world's worst voice actor. Criminal? I've heard worse. You foolish raccoon! I've caught you red-handed. Ah, Carmelita. I haven't seen you since I gave you the slip in Bombay. Which reminds me, you need to return the Firestone of India to its rightful owners. Ah, uh -huh. and I was gonna give it to you as a little token of my... Hey, you know, that bazooka really brings out the color of your eyes. Very fetching. You think? This pistol packs a paralyzing punch. You ought to try it. Might snap you out of your crime spree. Uh, <laughs> for a little rendezvous. Told Plenty you. of time for that once you're safely behind bars. Mostly the I'd love writing. to stick around and chat, but I just dropped by to pick up this case file. I think you've had it long enough. Yes, Sly's a pretty smooth motherfucker. I love the coin just stay suspended in midair. Yeah. I mean look, this is like it's Nintendo censorship. You're not allowed to have bullets, so she shoots freaking energy balls. Yeah. They fucking explode cars. Yeah, that's a pet. Yeah, that's a taser, all right. It paralyzes people, but somehow it causes cars to spontaneously combust. You'll never catch me. <laughs> Let exit. Come on. Better, really? It's better than if they were picking in a picking lot. Once again, my gang and I give an Inspector Carmelita Fox the slip. I was surprised to see how well she took it. Finally, the secret police file Geo. I've been searching for all these years. With this, 
I could avenge my family and regain possession of our most valued treasure. It all began when I was just a kid, bouncing on my father's knee. You see, I come from a long line of master thieves who kept all their secrets of sneaking and stealing in an ancient book. The Thievius Raccoons. Anyone who read it learned to be especially sneaky, which is why we specialize in stealing from criminals. After all, there's no honor, no challenge, no fun stealing from ordinary people. You rip off a master criminal, and you know you're a master thief. Well, on the night I was supposed to inherit the book, five visitors came unannounced to our door. My father fought to protect us, but the gang of villains known as the Fiendish Five overpowered him and ransacked our house until they found the Thievius Raccoonus. Our family's men who are thieving greatness fell into their filthy hands. Nice raid there, They tore kid. the book into five pieces and split it up, each villain disappearing to the farthest corners of the world to commit dastardly crimes. Broken alone, I was dumped at the town orphanage. There I met two guys who became my lifelong buddies and trusted crew. Bentley, techno genius and strategist supreme, and Murray, part-time driver and full-time burden. Together we pledged to track down the fiendish five, avenge my father, and steal back the thievious raccoons. I knew I was about to face the toughest test of my life. On this mission, I would either become a master thief like my ancestors before me, or fail and allow my family name to bite the dust. Plotline! Yeah, of course, it's obligatory uh, memory thing, but just to talk about a couple things. First of all, one, I feel that the voice actor for Sly feels really natural most of the time, and comes off as very smooth, like the character is supposed to be, so I definitely um, admire that in the character. Anything you want to say? Um, just that some of the writing is spot on, and the rest of it's kind of crappy. This gets fixed in the second game. All my complaints with this game get fixed in the second one. Though I do like the story in this one better. I th it's it's a little basic at first, but it gets more and more interesting as it goes along. Especially the story of his past, which is you know is very kind of tragic for a kid's game. Like literally, his father gets murdered. His, both of his parents get murdered outright. I mean, that's pretty dark. Harry Potter much? Alright, so, that's gonna be all for this particular episode. We will be back with the first episode of the actual game next time. See you guys then.